Hi everybody, welcome to lesson four in stress management. Today we're going to read a book called The Angry Octopus. In this book, the octopus gets really stressed out and really angry because somebody messes up his seashell garden. And so then a mermaid's going to come along and talk to him about different ways and exercises that he can do to help his body calm down. So I'm going to do some of the exercises with the octopus, and you can as well if you want to at home. So I'm going to get started reading The Angry Octopus. The sun's morning light trickled down through the water to the entrance of the cave. An octopus was sleeping inside the cave and could feel the life and energy of the sun touch his face. There's the octopus. He's getting ready to start his day. He took a deep breath and opened his eyes and stretched his body and ventured outside his home. Just in front of his cave was a seashell rock garden he had created. Each morning, he would begin his day by eating breakfast in his special garden as he watched the ocean come alive in the morning. This morning, his garden looked different. During the night, lobsters traveling across the ocean floor had bumped into his seashells and rocks. Everything was knocked over and out of order. The octopus was not happy. In fact, he was very angry. So there he is. He likes to look at his rock garden and then look at those lobsters. They accidentally messed up his, his garden of seashells and rocks. And he does not look happy. He looks upset. Sometimes when people mess up our things, we can feel upset. And that's okay. We just have to make sure we're safe. And do safe exercises to help ourselves. The more he looked at the mass, the worse he felt. He got madder and madder and felt his body get tighter and tighter. His muscles were tense. His stomach was rumbling like a volcano. He looked around at his ruined garden and his face started to turn red with anger. He knew what was happening to him, but he did not know how to stop it. He was so angry that he thought he might explode. And he did. The angry octopus lost his temper screamed and yelled and released a purplish black cloud of ink into the water all around him. He felt frustrated and out of control. He didn't feel like he was the boss of his own body or feelings, and now he couldn't even see through the dark ink cloud surrounding him. I think everyone can relate to the octopus a little bit. Sometimes we get angry and we lose control of ourselves. And it's important to have some strategies to help us calm down. The octopus released some ink. But sometimes some of us, we might feel like we want to hit something or someone. Or that we just want to scream and yell. And it's okay to feel that way. Everyone feels that way sometimes. But it's important that we calm ourselves down. We're going to see how the octopus calms himself down. A sea child swimming by the cave, saw the cloud of anger and confusion, stopped to speak to the octopus. Why are you so angry? Why are you sitting in a dark cloud on such a beautiful day? The octopus answered that he didn't always, that he didn't know why he got this angry, but he did, and it didn't feel good to lose his temper, and it always made his problems get worse. The sea child giggled and said, I'll show you how to be your boss of your anger again. I will show you how to calm down, let go of your anger, and see things more clearly. Lie down on your back and wiggle yourself into a comfortable position. Feel the sand moving slowly on your body as you snuggle in. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath. Breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. So the octopus is going to go through his nose and out of his mouth and the octopus says ah. so there's a little girl the sea child went to go look at the octopus 
and now she's getting him to feel a little bit better. It's good to have friends that help us calm down. Now tighten your toes and feet and squeeze them as tight as you can. Squeeze them into a tight ball. So if you want to squeeze your feet into a tight ball right now, go ahead. Hold, hold, hold. And now let the air out of your mouth and let your toes relax. Surprisingly, the octopus felt his toes relax. So now we're going to take a deep breath and let our toes relax. Do you feel that tension leave your body? That's a good feeling. The sea child continued. Tighten your legs as tight as you can. Squeeze them as tight as you can. So if you want to tighten your legs right now, you can tighten your legs as tight as you can. Now let the air out of your mouth and let your legs stretch out and gently let the anger and tight feelings slip away. The octopus felt his legs stretch out and cool sand as he let the angry feelings leave his body. So now we're going to take a deep breath and let the tension out of our legs. That's nice. The sea child continued. Tighten your hips, stomach, and back and squeeze them as tight as you can. So I'm going to squeeze my stomach as tight as I can. I'm going to hold it. So here we go. And my shoulders too. Oh. Now let the air out of your mouth and let your back, stomach, and hips melt into the sand beneath you. The octopus felt his body melting into the soft sand beneath him. The rumbling in his stomach became quiet and it was replaced with calm air. He felt his breath move in and out. So now I'm going to let my body relax. And there's the octopus all relaxed with his mermaid friend. The sea child continued. Tighten the muscles in your, in your chest, neck, and shoulders and squeeze them as tight as you can. So now we're going to do that. Now let the air out of your mouth and feel that tension in your chest, neck, and shoulders drift away. The octopus felt the tension leave his chest, neck, and shoulders and drift away. So now we're going to let it go. Whew. Look at that octopus. He kind of looks like I did. <laughs> and you if you were participating. And then he feels really relaxed now. The sea child continued. Tighten your arms, hands, and fingers and squeeze them as tight as you can. Squeeze them into a tight ball. Hold, hold, hold. Now let the air out of your mouth and let your arms, hands, and fingers unfold. The octopus felt his hands open and the last of his anger flowed away. So we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna let the tension go. Does it make you feel better? It makes the octopus feel better. Oh, here's a picture of the octopus tightening all his tentacles and then releasing it. The sea child continued. Tighten your jaw, lips, and nose. Crunch your whole face and squeeze them as tight as you can. Hold, hold, hold. And now let the air out of your mouth and your face and let your face skin soften. The octopus felt his skin soften. The octopus enjoyed relaxing. He focused on his breath, moving in and out, in and out, and filling his belly with warm, happy air. He felt relaxed and peaceful. So can you do it with me and the octopus? So we're gonna squeeze our lips like this. Then we're gonna let it go. The sea child continue. Tighten and wrinkle the skin on your forehead 
and the thoughts in your head. Squeeze them as tight as you can and hold. So the octopus is gonna go. You can see some lines form on his forehead. Close your eyes if you need to. Now let the air out of your mouth and let your forehead and mind become clear and still. And the lines on your forehead will go away. You can see some lines on the octopus's forehead. And then he took a deep breath and it completely went away and he feels relaxed. The octopus stayed very still for the next few minutes. He realized that he was the boss of his own body and feelings. He felt his breath moving in and out, in and out. He felt good. A few moments later, the octopus opened his eyes and his mood had shifted and the color of his body had returned to a warm shade of brown. He felt calm, balanced, and comfortable in his own skin. The dark cloud that had surrounded the octopus was gone. The ever-moving ocean had replaced it with a pure blue shade of water. In this calm, still moment, he realized that he could see things more clearly. He realized that he could solve his problems without getting angry. With a little help, he could fix his seashell rock garden. The octopus asked the sea child, if she would help him. Um, together they worked and laughed as they created a new seashell rock garden that was more beautiful than anything he had ever imagined. Being the boss of his own angry feelings helped the octopus make a brand new friend. Being calm helped him see the new possibilities. It helped him to think clearly. Now, whenever the octopus feels like he's gonna explode with anger, he takes a deep breath and tells himself that he is the boss of himself. He remembers that being calm helped fix his garden and make a new friend. He smiles at how much better he feels, and his breath moves in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And here's the octopus and his new friend, and they're rebuilding the rock garden. And now the octopus, whenever he gets upset, can look out at the rock garden and it reminds him to be the boss of his himself and his own emotions. Because his new friend taught him a bunch of strategies on how to do that. And that is the end of The Angry Octopus. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. What do you do to calm yourself down when you're feeling upset? Let me know. I hope you guys all have a great night and a terrific Thursday. Bye.